and Percy Dove tonsils. On this date in 1770, John Bartram of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, received the first shipment of rhubarb sent to America from Benjamin Franklin in London. Why he didn't send it back is beyond me. Apparently, Ben didn't like him. Up until that time, they didn't have a word to use to describe an argument in baseball. Up until then, when baseball players argued with an umpire, it was just called a fight. It was on this date in 1787 that William Herschel discovered the two moons of Uranus. Being a family show, we'll stop there. In 1805, the Michigan Territory was created. Of course, there were two regions, the Wolverine and the Spartan. If I remember correctly, it was mapped by the French explorer, Go Blue. On this date in 1861, Alabama became the fourth state to secede from the Union. Yeah, it was one of those rare instances when they weren't number one. Milk was delivered in bottles for the first time in 1878. On this date in 1935, aviator Amelia Earhart took off from Hawaii on the first solo flight ever by woman across the Pacific Ocean. Upon landing, someone said, uh, aren't you Hilary Swank? In 1942, Japan declared war on the Netherlands, who said that was fine, as long as they went Dutch. On this date in 1949, three inches of snow fell on Los Angeles. On the beaches, the diehards still showed up with their surfboard studded. It was also the first time anyone saw frozen smog. If you thought they couldn't drive in rain, imagine what snow did to the commute. All the it'll be a cold day and hell things happen that day. Needless to say, everyone had to take extra blankets to the beach that day. On this date in 1963, the Beatles made their first appearance on the TV show, Thank Your Lucky Stars. The stars were thanked and the rest was history. In 1994, Sonny Bono announced he would run for Congress on the Republican ticket representing Palm Springs, California. He was a better congressman than he was a skier. Too soon? Today is National Arkansas Day, National Step in a Puddle and Splash Your Friends Day, National Milk Day, and International Thank You Day. Amanda Peet, who was in the whole nine yards, turns 52 today. Unfortunately, her career never made it past the 10-yard line. Happy birthday, Amanda, for Pete's sake. Mary J. Blige turns 53. She plans to spend the day with her younger sister, Mucha. We always wondered, why the J? Are there that many Mary Blige's out there that we'd get her mixed up with the others? Guitarist Tom Dumont is 56. He is slash was with no doubt, which ironically, we never know if they're splitting or getting back together. Jason Connery, Sean's little boy, turns 61 today. That scraping sound you hear is the bottom of our birthday barrel. Ben Crenshaw turns 72 today. That's the former professional golfer, not a presidential candidate. And then, alcohol said, put that on Facebook. It's hilarious. But alcohol was wrong. Very wrong. With exciting facts to clutter your mind, I'm Percy Dove Tonsils, for KDAZ, Digital Broadcasting, and thanks for listening. <laughs>